Well, tough loss for Team Utah in the Little League World Series earlier today. Yeah, it was. Tennessee beat them, forcing Utah into the loser's bracket of this tournament. New specialist Alex Cabrero joined us live from Williamsport, Pennsylvania tonight. And Alex's team has become a fan favorite, not just in Utah, but across the country. Hi, they sure have, Mike. You know, a lot of people, when we are walking around here and they see the KSO logo on our shirts, they ask us, hey, where are you guys from? Well, we tell them Utah, almost every single person said, Oh, we heard about that team. We're following them, we are cheering for them, and we are rooting for that injured player to get better. Even though Utah didn't win here today, the team has sure made a lot of new fans. At a time when many of us are looking for something to bring us all together, this team from Utah just might be the answer. I think I cheered a little too much in California. <laughs> It's been quite a run for this team, but this week may have been the hardest of all before they even took the field. The reality of it is this has been a really emotional week, right? And so... This is where head coach Kyle Hafen choked up a bit, talking about his injured player, Easton uh, Oliverson. Having your family and friends here, it means the world to you. Oliverson fell from his bunk bed earlier this week and was rushed to a hospital where doctors removed a piece of his skull to save his life. This morning, he was able to walk to the bathroom by himself, so pretty drastic improvement. It's the kind of thing that rallies a team, rallies baseball fans who aren't even from Utah. We just want him to get better and get back here and you know, get with his team. And even inspires your competition. And we had a, a hat, one of our hats signed by everybody and it said, hey, uh, Tennessee is Team Easton. So. The end result, an 11-2 Tennessee win, isn't what Utah was hoping for, but after what they've been through, they know there are things more important than a final score. It's brought not only our community, but it seems like the whole state, and honestly, maybe I'm exaggerating, but the whole country together. Win or lose, championship or not, there is no doubt Team Utah has already won the hearts of baseball fans everywhere. We came with purpose, like our coaches said. And that purpose has got bigger. Utah plays again on Sunday. Win and they move on. Lose and they are done. The Little League World Series is a double elimination tournament. But no matter what happens, Mike and Ashley, this is a team that the entire state of Utah can be proud of. Not only what it took to get here, but for the past week and everything they dealt with just to get to today's game.